Wonderful, wonderful. Well, I'd now like to welcome to the stage Sarah Henderson, MP, Federal Member for Karangamai. We're really looking forward to hearing you, uh, hearing from you, Sarah. And uh, please, a big welcome from Pivot Summit to Sarah. Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's wonderful to join you for this uh, very exciting event. I'd like to acknowledge uh, Councillor Rod McDonald, Councillor Andy Richards, Monty, of course, all the wonderful um, sponsors, Leighton Wells and Nick Stanley, who have driven this vision. And, uh, of course, our keynote speakers, the speakers panel will be held very shortly, including, I read on Monty's Twitter feed, uh, rock stars, uh, Brian Solis and, and Robert Scoble. I have to say uh, it's uh, with great pleasure that on behalf of the Australian Government uh, we are a major sponsor here today. We recognise that investing in digital jobs and innovation is absolutely vital to our future. Uh, you would know under the new Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull, investment in innovation in the digital economy is central to our vision to drive a new wave of economic prosperity, we believe that innovation must be at the forefront in everything that we do. The Pivot Summit is a wonderful initiative. I'm glad it's going to be back next year, so congratulations. This is uh, a really important way of putting Geelong and, and Silicon Bay very much on the map. Our government sponsorship today is, uh, comes to a total of $45,000, so it's a significant contribution it's from our Geelong Region Job Connections Program, a $2.6 million fund which is specifically designed to drive local job creation initiatives here in Geelong Region. Helped by a local employment facilitator, the Department of Employment has a special facilitator here in Geelong. We're the only region in Australia that has one. So I hope you can see that it really reflects from our government a very strong focus on uh, this region on Karangamai with a fair bit of table banging to make sure that we get a, a lot of attention from this government. As part of our sponsorship, 20 job seekers and young people are attending the Pivot Summit free of charge, including a number of people who are being funded under our NICE program, the New Enterprise Incentive Scheme, which helps job seekers start up new businesses. So we want to make sure that our contribution is really helping uh, on the ground to drive new opportunities for those who really do need our help. There is no doubt that our city has the capacity to be a great centre of innovation, a Silicon Bay, and consider our unique assets to drive this wave of economic prosperity. Deakin University, CSIRO's Animal Health Laboratory, the Geelong Centre for Emerging Infectious Diseases, to which our government is investing $3 million. Avalon Airport and a new $14 million advanced manufacturing growth centre that we've just announced, which will help drive the smart jobs of the future, underpinned by some extraordinary work being done in future fibres. Of course, to be a centre of innovation, we need really important infrastructure, and that's why getting a proper... Western link into Melbourne is so important. That's why it's incredibly important to duplicate the rail track south of Geelong Station and their big projects that we're, they're fighting for. And of course we need really good broadband. And two weeks ago I was delighted to announce that the MBN rollout has been extended to cover all of Geelong. MBN construction is in Torquay and on the Ballerine. Uh, it will start, has started and next year the MBN construction will start in Geelong. Uh, this is of course vital infrastructure. There's been so much talk and so little action for such a long period of time and we are absolutely delighted that we are delivering this vital infrastructure. But let's not forget, and I represent Karangamite, an electorate of seven and a half thousand square kilometres. There are plenty of innovation, great ideas out in the country. And one of the big differences I think we've made is we've put $160 million into fixing mobile phone black spots because without communications infrastructure, we can't connect with each other, we can't get business done. Uh, we know, of course, how vital it is. I think when it comes to innovation, a story that's got a lot of traction recently uh, is the story of carbon revolution. 
It began as a competition between Deakin students looking to create a lightweight mini car. And they came up with the idea of carbon fibre wheels. And from those humble beginnings, Carbon Revolution was born. Carbon Revolution has just done an incredible deal with Ford US, providing carbon fibre wheels to the Shelby Mustang. There's other great deals in the pipeline. They've got an incredible factory that uh, Christopher Pine, the Minister for Industry and Innovation and Science, just opened a few weeks ago, and they're well on the way to producing 50,000 wheels a year. Another great initiative to be based at Deakin is uh, an application of $10 million from our government, and I'm doing everything I can to support that. We had the Deputy Prime Minister out at Deakin a few weeks ago getting a briefing, and it's a, it's a proposal to establish Manu Futures. It's a, essentially a start-up factory an industrial incubator for future technology enablement, providing flexible uh, working spaces, shared corporate facilities, and a collaborative working environment for startups all the way through to multinationals. So, uh, again, another very significant project, uh, which of course uh, will be driven by a strong focus on innov innovation from our government. Yesterday, and I wanted to read this to you because it's quite significant. Yesterday, the Prime Minister said when announcing our new Chief Scientist, if we are to remain a high-wage, generous social welfare net economy in the years to come, if we are to remain prosperous, seizing the enormous opportunities that are available to Australians, now more than ever, we need to be more innovative, more technologically sophisticated, more scientifically alert, and aware and adept, and we need to be able to combine science with industry in an innovative way that enables us to stay ahead of the curve, always ahead of the curve. Technologically sophisticated, scientifically advanced, innovative, clear, imaginative. Ladies and gentlemen, in December, we will be announcing our first innovation statement. This will be a statement with a range of initiatives to kickstart our digital economy. So if you have a great idea, whether it be on taxation, infrastructure investment, R&D, commercialisation, ideas to drive entrepreneurship, education, please let me know. We're working on it right now and your ideas are very much welcome. We are a government that is not only open for business, but reaching for the sky and all those BHAGs. I've only just learnt what a BHAG is, but boy, oh boy, I'm, I'm talking about it all the time. And we are working to ensure that we do everything that we can to seize the enormous opportunities that are here right now and into the future in this great city, in this great part of the world. Thank you very much, everyone.